Unsolved 1929, the case of 24-year-old Evelyn Gregg. Evelyn Gregg died following an abortion. An illegal operation was suspected, but there was no evidence against anyone, and an open verdict was returned. She died at the home of a nurse in Colville Terrace, Portobello Road, Kensington, where she had been staying since the 1st of April after complaining of not being well. The nurse, whose home she had gone to stay in, said that Evelyn Gray could come to her as a boarder and not as a patient. The coroner stated that it appeared that her illness had come about before she had gone to stay with the nurse. The nurse had been a certified midwife and had been in practice since 1920. The nurse said that Evelyn Gregg had told her nothing about her condition and added that on the day she died she seemed alright and was taking her food well. She said that at 10.30 she appeared quite normal but at 11 o'clock she sent for a doctor and when he arrived at 11.45 she was dead. She had first said that she was not well in March 1929 when she was living with her lover in Radcliffe Gardens. Her lover said that she had not told him that she had had an abortion or that she had done anything to herself. The nurse said that Evelyn Gregg had called her about a week before she had come to live with her, saying that she was ill, but at the time she had been ill herself and not able to see her. When she had first gone to Colville Terrace, she had given her first payment in advance. The post-mortem stated that she died from syncope and heart failure due to an abortion with septic infection and acute general peritonitis. It was stated that there was no evidence of any instrumental injury to her. She also had swelling and discoloration of her right ankle and knee. She had been a young film actress. Her stage name had been Nita Avalay and she had previously been known as Evelyn Taylor. She had been married but at the time was living with another man at Radcliffe Terrace in South Kensington. She had been due to have appeared in the divorce court on the 11th of April 1929, but after hearing of her death, her case was struck out. She and her husband had not lived together for about three years. Nothing more is known about how Evelyn Gray came to have an abortion, or whether an illegal operation was involved, and her case remains a mystery to this day.